Okay, here's our uh, solving equations with logarithms part two. Uh, it's just some more practice looking at some different techniques we can use to solve something like this. Now, looking at this one, it's two times log base x25 is equal to four. Now, there's, uh, there's two different things you can do in your first step here. Uh, I might run through both methods of solving this so you can see how to attack it. Uh, first of all, this is two times log base x to the 25. So I could get rid of this 2 if I wanted to by dividing by 2 on both sides. So that's going to be log base x25 is equal to 4 on 2. I've just divided both sides by 2. That'll give me log base x25 is equal to 2. Now from here, you should be able to see that 25 is a power. Uh, sorry, is a square number. So we can write this as log base x, 5 to the power of 2 is equal to 2. Now you should be able to remember from your log laws that this power 2 can come out the front. 2 log base x, 5 equals 2. Now this will give us, this 2 will come out here. So we're going to have log base x to the 5 equals 2 on 2. Now that's going to give us log base x to the 5 equals 1. Now from here you should remember from your log laws that for any log to be equal to 1, the base and this number here must be equal. So therefore x equals 1. An alternative method would have been to write log base x to the 5 equals 1 as a um, exponential function. So x, or write it in exponential form, sorry. So x to the 1 equals 5. Therefore, x equals 5. That's the only thing it possibly could be. Uh, now, you could have solved it a different way. It doesn't really matter which order you do things in. So the other way to do this would have been to look at this and do that power bit in your first step. So it would have been 2 log x uh, 5 squared equals 4. Now that squared can come out the front. That gives us 2 times 2, which is 4. 4 log x to the 5, which equals 4. That 4 will come down here. So 4 divided by 4. That'll give us log x to the 5 equals 1. And from there, we're, we're at the same stage we were at here anyway. Uh, it doesn't matter which order you do things in. As long as you follow your log laws, you'll end up at the right answer eventually. Uh, that's solving equations with logarithms part 2. Uh, again, it's a whole bunch of practice. It's applying those log laws that you've already learnt and then just working slowly through these questions.